so students you are again welcome in my video uh, we are studying here the periodic classification of elements and in the earlier period we studied what is the modern periodic table today we are going to study about the periodic trends in a modern periodic table so question may arise in your mind that uh, what it mean by a periodic trend so remember when a properties of element in a period or a group of a modern periodic table they are compared there is a certain regularity is observed in this uh, in the variations so uh, it is called as the period trends in the modern periodic table so in this standard we are going to uh, consider the periodic trends in the only three properties of elements like the uh, valency then the atomic size and metallic non metallic characteristics so the first periodic property or the trend in the periodic uh, table we are going to study the valency so we are going to study the periodic trend in a periodic table and one of the important periodic property of the elements in the modern periodic table which is called as valency so in your textbook uh, under think about it a question is given what is the relationship between the electronic configuration of an element and its valency so students uh, actually the valency it is determined on the basis of the electronic configuration of any element so uh, to study the valency we will see one example and then after uh, we will see the valencies and the trends in the modern periodic table so to study the um, what is mean by the valency or what is the relationship between the electronic configuration and valency we are going to see one example uh, for example the sodium is here uh, sodium is a element which is present in the first group which is having the atomic number 11 and when we uh, see the electronic configuration of the sodium so the electronic configuration is the systematic distribution of electrons of an element into a uh, different shells so it is classified on the basis of the electron capacity of any uh, shells so it is determined on the basis of a formula which is called as 2n square so what is n here n is nothing but the shell number so as you know that the 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 structure of atom it contains the nucleus which is centrally situated and around the nucleus there are the shells and in the shells the electrons are revolving so the first shell uh, uh, which is the, um, the nearest shell to the nucleus which is called as the k shell then the l then the m and the n shell so according to the formula 2n square the shell number of k shell is 1 so it will be 2 multiplied by 1 square is equal to 1 sorry 2 so here you can understand that the 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 electrons which can get occupied in the first shell of any atom it may be only 2 that it means the capacity of the first shell is 2 likewise the l shell its shell number is 2 therefore uh, the formula 2 n square again 2 into 2 square therefore the 2 multiplied by 4 is equal to 8 therefore only 8 electrons they can get accommodated in the second shell that is the l shell then the m shell it is having the shell number 3 therefore 2 n square formula 2 into 3 3 square is equal to 2 into 9 therefore 18 electrons they can get fitted into the m shell then the shell number 4 again n shell so 2 multiplied by 4 square is equal to 16 multiplied by 2 is equal to 32 electrons so in this manner in any atom the first shell can accommodate only two electrons in it second shell eight electrons in it third shell 18 electrons in it and fourth shell 32 electrons in it so uh, again remember one thing whenever we distribute the electron always the first shell is completely filled and then after the second shell is filled so when we see the electronic configuration of sodium as we know that its atomic number is 11 so the first shell that is the k shell it will uh, acquire only two electrons out of 11 so two electrons in the k shell then the nine electrons are remained there 
so the second shell l shell it can accommodate only eight electrons therefore eight electrons in it so two eight and one electron remain will be go in the outermost shell that is the uh, m shell therefore the electron electronic configuration of the sodium will be two eight one that means two electrons in the k shell eight electrons in the l shell and one electron in the m shell in this way this is the electronic configuration so this is the relationship between the atomic number and the electronic configuration actually students remember the atomic number is the number of protons present in the nucleus of atom but as you know that the atom is electrically neutral species and the reason behind that is the, the uh, nucleus of an atom it possesses the positively charged protons and always remember the number of positively charged protons which are present in the nucleus and the number of negatively charged electrons they revolve around the nucleus is the same therefore it get neutralized and the atom is a neutral one but remember on the basis of the positive charge we can um, predict the number of negatively charged electrons therefore we can determine the electronic configuration of any atom on the basis of its atomic number so this was the relationship between the atomic number and the electronic configuration so students now as you know that the uh, valency of an element is determined by the number of electrons present in the outermost outermost shell of its um, atom so that is the valency of any atom so uh, uh, in your textbook under a section think about it again one question is given that a table is given there and uh, you have asked to fill the table so now we are going to fill this table so in this table uh, the what we are going to fill there there is a the first thing we are going to fill is the uh, the symbol of an element then its electronic configuration and its valency so please watch the table uh, the first box or the group number one period number one it contains hydrogen its atomic number is one therefore electronic configuration is one and uh, while considering the valency you must remember one thing that uh, each and every element it tends to have the electronic configuration similar to the nearest inert gas element what it means the atom of every element it tends to have it like to have the electronic configuration similar to the nearest inert gas element atom so here the the electronic configuration of hydrogen is one therefore its first shell is the outermost shell that the k shell therefore it may acquire two electrons according to the formula 2n square therefore you must be getting that the hydrogen it need one electron to complete complete its duplet duplet means to acquire two electrons in the k shell so the nearest inert gas element is the helium and its in electronic configuration is two therefore the hydrogen will try to acquire the electronic configuration similar to the helium for that purpose that hydrogen will gain one electron and therefore the valency of hydrogen will be one likewise the helium again you must be knowing that the helium is the noble, noble gas element and all the noble gas element they are having the stable electronic configuration what it means in the noble gases the electronic configuration is such a that that they do not need to take any electron or they do not need to donate any electron that it means they do not take part in a chemical reaction they do not gain electron they do not donate electron therefore what happens in the um, uh, all the inert gases the electronic configuration is considered as the stable electronic configuration so the in the helium the first orbit is the sorry first shell is the k shell and it possesses two electrons its capacity is two therefore there is no need to gain or donate one electron or any electron for the helium therefore the valency of helium is zero now the again the lithium is the element which is having the atomic number three 
it possesses two shells that the k and l in the k shell two electrons will get acquired and one one electron it will go in the outermost shell that is the l shell so the electronic configuration will be 2 1 again you know that the nearest inert gas element is helium so it will try to acquire the similar e electronic configuration to the helium therefore the lithium will try to donate one electron therefore its valency will be 1 then the beryllium its atomic number is 4 electronic configuration becomes 2 2 so it can donate two electrons therefore its valency is 2 then the boron its atomic number is 5 it has the electronic configuration 2 3 therefore it can donate three electron therefore its valency is 3 then the carbon its atomic number is 6 therefore its electronic configuration is 2 4 remember here the nearest inert gas element for the carbon it may be the neon and the helium helium is having atomic number 2 and carbon is having atomic number 6 and the neon is having atom atomic number uh, that is the 10 therefore the carbon it can donate four electron or it can gain four electron to acquire the stable electronic configuration and it can form the carbocation as well as carbanion therefore um, in the case of carbon uh, as it can donate four electron its um, valency is four then the next element is the nitrogen its atomic number is seven and its electronic configuration is two five therefore uh, remember its nearest inner gas element is the neon so the electronic configuration of neon as its atomic number is 10 therefore it will be 2 8 so the nitrogen will try to acquire the similar electronic configuration to the neon and for that purpose the nitrogen has to gain three electrons therefore as nitrogen can gain three electrons remember its outermost shell it contains five electrons in it so it is quite easier to gain three electron electrons rather than donating five electrons therefore its valency will be three now the next element is the oxygen its atomic number is eight and electronic configuration becomes two six so again nearest uh, inert gas element is the neon to get similar um, electronic configuration to the neon it will gain two electrons therefore the electronic configuration will become 2 8 and uh, the valency of oxygen is 2 then the next element is the fluorine as in the earlier period we studied that all the um, um, halogens they possesses how many ele electrons in their outermost shell that is the 7 therefore it is one electron deficient and it can gain one electron therefore its uh, valency is 1 again the neon it possesses the electronic configuration 2 8 as the atomic number is 10 so it do not need to gain or do not need to donate electron therefore it do not take part in chemical reaction it is the inert gas and remember its um, valency is 0 then next element is the sodium remember the atomic number of sodium is 11 we studied earlier on that its uh, electronic configuration is 2 at 1 therefore the outermost shell it contains one electron therefore its valency is one again then the next is the magnesium atomic number 12 its electronic configuration is 2 at 2 two electrons in the valence shell or the outermost shell therefore the electronic configuration on the basis of electronic configuration the valency will be 2 then in case of aluminium the electronic configuration is 2 8 3 as the atomic number is 13 therefore remember three electrons in the valence shell it can donate three electron therefore the valency is three then the silicon again similar to the carbon its valence shell it contains four electron as the electronic configuration is two eight four therefore its valency will be four then the phosphorus it possesses electronic configuration two eight five five electrons in the outermost shell therefore remember it can gain three electron therefore the valency is three then the sulfur that is the two eight six its outermost shell it contains six six electrons it may contain um, eight electron therefore it will take two electron so 
the valency will be 2. Similarly, the chlorine halogen, it possesses 7 electrons in its outermost shell. Electronic configuration is 2 at 7 and its valency is 1. And the next is the aragon, which is nothing but the inert gas. It possesses the stable electronic configuration that the K shell, it possesses 2 electrons. L shell possesses 8 electrons and M shell possesses 8 electrons. Then the next is the uh, potassium. Remember its electronic configuration is 2, 8, 8, 1 as the its atomic number is 19. Remember again in its outermost shell there is 1 electron and its valency is 1. Calcium, it is having the electronic configuration 2, 8, 8, 2 as the atomic number is 20 and remember 2 electrons in its valence shell. It can donate two electrons and can get acquire the um, uh, similar electronic configuration to the aragon. Therefore, its valency is two. So, students, question arises that then what is the periodic trend in the variation of valency while going from left to right within a period? So, remember we have to explain our answer with respect to the period number two and period number three. So, here we will see one table. In this table, we are going to put the valences of various elements present in it. So as you know that the group number one, period number one, it possesses the element hydrogen. So its valency is one. Then in the group number 18, period number one, the element is helium. Its valency is zero. Then group number one, period number two, lithium, valency one. Then beryllium, valency two. Then the boron, valency 3, then the carbon, valency 4, then the nitrogen, valency 3, then oxygen, valency 2, then the fluorine, valency 1, and again the neon, valency 0. So can you observe here, while going from left to right in a period, the valency it goes on increasing, that the 1, then the 2, then the 3, then the 4. And again the valency it goes on decreasing like the 3, 2, 1 and 0. So we can conclude here in the group, uh, sorry in the period, the valency it goes on decreasing first from 1, sorry increasing first from 1, 2, 3, 4 and then goes on decreasing 3, 2, 1, 0. So this is the periodic trend in a modern periodic table which is seen in accordance with the valency of the elements. So the next question in front of us is that what is the periodic trend in the variation of valency while going down a group? While we go down a group, what is the periodic trend there? So we have to explain our answer with respect to the or with reference to the group number 1 and group number 2 and group number 18. So remember, when we go down the group, as you can see that here in the group number 1, the elements place, they are the hydrogen, lithium, sodium and so on. So on the basis of observation of the valences of those elements, you can conclude that in the group number 1, all the elements they possesses the valency is equal to 1. That means the group it possesses the valency 1. Then the next group that is the second group it possesses the valency 2 for all the elements in it. And in accordance with the group number 18 again all the elements which are placed in group number 18 they possesses the valency is equal to 0. So now we can conclude that there is a definite periodic trend about the valency in a modern periodic table that while going from left to right in the periodic table in a period the valency it first goes on increasing then goes on decreasing and while going from top to bottom or going down the group the valency it remains same although the one shell is added there but the valency remains the same. Thank you. Thank you very much.